this video, I want to talk about how an attitude can change whether someone is willing to listen to an argument. Most of the time, it's the anti-SJWs who complain about the SJWs being too chicken shit or too much of a pussy or something on that order to listen to their arguments simply because they're being condescending. And my response is, well, guess what? Those of you anti-SJWs out there who say this are often the ones who won't put up with certain kinds of attitudes from the other side. Everyone is guilty of this sort of thing. People don't want to listen to someone's message if they think the attitude sucks. Let's take Autopsy 87 for a moment. You know, I had this video all planned out and I was just gonna go get a screen cap of when Autopsy 87 basically flat out refused to even address my video talking about beauty standards. It's a video that he made against uh, Francesca Ramsey. I made a video countering his video, but I had the whole, hi, it's Buffalo Kiz kind of attitude. I, I can leave a link to that video in the description bar if you'd like, but uh, I made gr good points. I think they were great points. And he's just like, no, I'm not going to look at that because I don't like the attitude you have. You know, oh, but that's different. Well, no, it isn't really. It's just using a different persona. And unfortunately, I was not able to get a screen cap of his tweet because his Twitter account was terminated. Probably because he had a really, really bad attitude and was spewing pejoratives and uh, insults left and right. And we all know that Twitter doesn't have a problem when the left spews insults, but they have a problem when the right spews insults. They have double standards in that area. And we all know this, but that's what happened to his account. So let's take this sort of thing, for instance. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! So let's see what this bedroom feminist special snowflake has been able to produce in her humble domicile. Yeah, not to hurt your delusions of grandeur there, honey. So describing exactly what you are is dumbing it down? No, I think you should continue making videos. This is very helpful for me. Yes, it would be very unfair for the world to miss out on your incredible teenage insights. Why should people listen when those things are being said? Well, you know, well, because they're a pussy unless they do. Okay. Turnabout's fair play. Um, would you listen to this person? Shut the fuck up for a second! Shut the fuck up for the 50th billion time! It's not just for you, Mr. Entitled. Then listen the fuck up. Well, you know, she's she's just terrible. She's awful. She's she's the worst of the of the feminist SJW types. Really? How about I cut out all the things that you consider pejoratives and expletives and bad attitudes, or at least the worst of the bad attitudes, and listen to what she says again. Here, let's try this. Feminists do not want you to lose custody of your children. The assumption that women are naturally better caregivers is part of patriarchy. So in case you couldn't understand what she said because you don't like the tone of her voice or the attitude she has just in that statement, she just said that the idea that women are better caregivers is part of what they're labeling as the patriarchy. Feminists do not like because commercials in which bubbly dads mess up the laundry like and competent wives like have to bustle like in and fix it. Right she said, feminists do not like the commercials in which bumbling dads mess up the laundry and competent wives have to bustle in and fix it. We're working have on you it you and you guys are trying to, to dismantle well, it. Then why are you part of the organization? Saying that we're trying to take away their rights? How are we trying to take away their rights? This is a list of the things that we're working towards. These are things that we're agreeing on and these are things that you've actually all got skewed fucking views on. You think that feminists are trying to take away your fucking rights, but it, as a matter of fact, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to work on the same things that you're working on. We're trying to actually work on those same situations. Feminists do not want you to have to make alimony payments. Alimony is set up to combat the fact that women have been historically expected to prioritize domestic duties over professional goals, thus minimizing their earning potential as their traditional marriages end. Here it is said more calmly. Feminists do not want you to have to make alimony payments. 
Alimony is set up to combat the fact that women have been historically expected to prioritize domestic duties over professional goals, thus minimizing their earning potential in their traditional marriage's end. Feminists do not want anybody to be raped in prison. Permissiveness and jokes about prison rape are part of rape culture. Feminists do not want anyone to be falsely accused of rape. False rape accusations discredit rape victims, which reinforces rape culture, which is part of patriarchy. Now, you may not like the terms rape culture or patriarchy, but you've got to admit that she is doing her best to try to stand up for men's rights here. Feminists and do not want you to have to have if you really care said, about those say, issues, I want as to have passionately sex. as you I make say a decision you do, you should sex. be thanking and then later on because feminism is a decision. social movement you think that actively happen? dedicated you to think your definition. you got to think what I'm saying. The fact Listen, that you blame your definition of consent the problems against, against which they have been struggling <laughs> for decades. So, not- so did she have a relatively decent message? Did it actually seem like she was trying to show that she supports the things that the MRAs support? Well, how did you happen to miss that? Well because of this. Shut the fuck up for a second. Shut the fuck up for the 50th billion time. So attitudes can make a big difference as to whether people listen. If you want the SJWs to listen to your arguments, you have to be reasonable towards them, just as you expect the other way around. It's pretty simple.